What is up guys, Mr. Barry's here and we are back to Amnesia, so let's get started. Those lights are a little funky, eh? But anyways, one thing I want to say real quick. In my last three videos I recorded, they recorded in 16... They didn't really record in 16 by 9 for some reason. Oh, that's creepy. They didn't record in 16 by 9. They... I had them... I have the game set to record in... 1920 by 1080 but for some reason they recorded in uh 1440 by 1080 so that's why my intro has been uh a little stretched out for that reason and i apologize for that and also the quality has been a little lacking i'm recording in 1080p i don't know if the quality in the video will resemble that it won't be too bad especially with the lantern now just in the dark it gets a little weird so I believe it's set because I went into the settings for this game and it was changed. The collar, the neck, the noose, two cups of flour, one cup of water, a pinch of salt, a handful of mints, a bay leaf, a herb, a skeleton key for the nursery, and a mixing well go together. So as I said before, you can't see the loading screen and I apologize for that. So I'll just read what it is. Right now it's a factory, <laughs> nothing too special, but really it's just the the uh reading that i want to get to you guys like now you can see it but before you couldn't <laughs> kind of happy that most of these doors are locked The factory offices, all the suggestions of a large workforce, force, yet no actual signs of life. It is very bit as if someone has attempted to carefully create the illusion of a working factory complex, yet this facade, when examined closely, is cl clearly just a falsification. But I must put aside my anxieties, quell the e unease that pits my stomach, and continue on my path. Very, very interesting. Turning on all these lights. The light is your friend. I have such visions to share with thee. If my jaw be unshackled and you harvest the crust from my eyes, make me clean madness that my thoughts and words can unfounded be. All right. Darn pig. Darn pig's mask. In the first one, didn't you have things like orbs that you could, like, touch and go into? They had that in the, uh, Penumbra series, too. Created by the same developers, Frictional Games. Very great company, I must say. But then, what if they could stand upright and walk as men? What if the brute were harnessed thus? Would they sing? Would they find their own god? I have seen things, and I will tell you now. No. No, they will not, but they will happily accept faulty to a god thrust upon them and worship it thus given. In this I realize there are no different to, to the masses, they are much the same as us. Once this irrevocable threshold is passed, I understand that we too are shackled and must be set free. To free the man, we cut the man. In order to cross the great evolutionary line, it must first be painted on the ground. Upon the ground. <laughs> well, it opens. What is that noise? What's that picture again? I'm not liking that music one bit. Another note. We'll check this one. Oh gosh. What the heck? Okay. August 22nd, 1899. In America, they talk of building their cities to the skies. To me, this seems folly, but perhaps it is simply a case of a nation founded within a history of its own. We walk upon our histories. They are compacted into the very loam beneath our feet. The engineers we employed talk of this. They talked of how we 
when building the underground trains, they would often come across older tunnel crisis crisscrossing the capital. What places lie buried beneath us? We are digging, digging, excavating, and reappropriating what we find. At the center of the planet, my architects tell me, there is a great iron ball. It is the egg of the world. That music stopped playing when I opened up that drawer. And I don't like that at all. I have a feeling those aren't just dentures. Ew. Yeah, but that music stopped playing and it makes me a little unease. Oh gosh, they're both open. I never know what to do in situations like that. Both the doors are open. Where do I go? So what's the point of this room? Maybe to hide? In which case I'll leave the door open. We integrate the very latest knowledge of chemistry using low levels of ladanum, that I believe is familiar from the first one, derivative in the feed to subdue the product even before the initi initiation of the process. This means that when we drag them from holding pens onto the line, they are less likely to panic and damage machine components, other products of themselves. This section of the belt is sheathed in rubber and kept well lit to maintain good spirits, and we have actually found that the intelligent placement of the grim gramophones and simple acoustics amplification tubes are the line means we can use music to further suit the product. We find De Busy particular effective on this regard. Alright. One other thing I want to say. Man just is a butcher. I believe of pigs. Um, I was reading this, the storyline on wiki. I was trying to type my description. So, I didn't... Warning. Few fueling pumps. Volative chemicals are in use. These materials are highly corrosive. Wear protection. I didn't get any spoilers, which is good from the wiki page. But I uh Oh gosh. I did realize that he was a pig butcher. I wanted the description to be good so if you guys read it you would know what the game is about. I hope that blood is just from the pigs. Or pigs. They're all locked. I didn't try that one. What's this? Pumping station. It appears to be some kind of fueling station. I have seen automobiles demonstrate at Mr. Yarnum and Mr. Sims' work, but the smell here is all wrong. This is not petroleum of that, I am sure. Everything suggests to me that this machine must be significant in some way. Alright, let's try this door. Oh, it's open. I'm not gonna go in there. I wanna turn this knob first. I can't. Looks like I need to put something there. Oh gosh, I could pick up the pigs. Alright, this leads outside. Where does this lead to? Hiding in the closet. <laughs> Alright. Let's see, what does this note say? September 28th, 1899. Imagine, they say, a machine one day that might make might think like a man. As if this is to be desired, one might almost boast of creating a man who breathes like a pig. 
Men and women upon all fours running carelessly, ejaculating their filthy little missives into the streets, alleys, and gutters, running freely with the careless spill of their conjoinings, the air thick with the whimperings of lust, bodies streaked with their own emissions. We have created a world where a man is so utterly debased he will spray his seed over passerbys. What are they talking about? And yet this is the con condition Bobbage is inspired to do. No, this is not the machine we seek. Such an entity should be none the less than a deity, and we would fall upon our knees and worship it. We shall not carve gods to be bigger and fornicate. They will exist to clean the world and set us free. I reject Bobbage as I reject these men of government. Let the pigs copulate in the gutters while they, whilst they can. We shall scoop them up and ease their ascension soon enough. What the heck? This is messed up. Oh, I can pull this out of the way. And I can open that up. Alright. Very cool. Can I get up here? I'm not going to bother with that. So, main story. Don't fully know what's going on. Gosh, can't open that. So yeah, main story, don't fully know what's going on. Except we need to find our kids. That's about all we can... Belly yard. Bell yard, not belly yard. Just that we need to find our kids and, uh... Come on, Papa. Let's climb this one. I can see more pictures at the top. Freaking hate little kids. Why is it always the little kids in the video games, man? It's always the little kids in the video games. I move those barrels. No, I can only. I don't like that. That sound. What's that? Alright, my journal. A strange container. This canister looks as if it might fit the fuel pump I saw earlier. It certainly carries the same fetid unholy reek. I will not think of that which I saw pass me in its cage. I will not think of that which I saw pass me. Oh crap. I will not gaze again into that dark machine room if more immediate task presents itself and the opportunity presents to gain access to St. Dunstan. Oh my gosh. What's through here? Locked? Yep. Locked. Okay, let's bring this over, shall we? So yeah, like I was saying before in other episodes, I do tend to get quiet and a little like this when I, uh, when I'm a little scared, um, or just just afraid that something might happen. I also stutter like that. I'll be like, and, uh, and, yeah, um, like that. Like, I'm actually like that right now. I want to get out of here. Um, so yeah. I left that door open, didn't I? No, I closed it. Is there always a blood trail leading to that, leading to that room? I don't think there was. There we go. Voila! It's kind of hard to turn this valve. Come on, fuel canister. What the heck is that thing? Oh, 
hide. Oh, uh, guys, I'm so scared. What the heck is that thing? Oh, uh, okay. Alright. My journal. A fast getaway. Dear sweet lord of all that is good and holy, I must make my escape. Grasp this container and its putrid contents and flee this place before that creature, that nearly man, returns. I will head for the church. Surely such an abomination could not follow onto the hollowed ground. Yep, well, you know what? You're probably wrong. I'm not safe, am I? Still locked. Why did I go through that way? I could just go through that way. I have to finish filling this, though. So I have to bring this back, right? I believe I have to bring this back. So there's that creature. I feel like it's not going to be the amnesia monster, but this creature. In which case, if I'm getting chased by that thing, I'll probably be screwed. Maybe this? What is this thing? Got another note to ourself. Holy orders. This church is connected to the plant. How odd. However, it does suggest another route into the main part of this facility. Given the locked doors around the fueling station, the trucks block my way. However, almost as if the saboteur knew that I might consider this alternate entrance. Another pig. Oh, that's where it goes. Well, let's read this note first. Delivery schedule. How many blazes are we supposed to meet these damn schedules if even the Basic equipment we are provided with simply will not perform this designated function. These cursed new fangled trucks will only run a fraction of the distance. My old nag managed before running out of stinking gasoline. The gaffer says it's fine and there's plenty of pumps to refuel them outside the factory walls, but you end up dragging a blessed tank from the truck to the nearest one to refill it, and the one in the storeroom is empty again. I can't be turning that crank handle all day only to find the tank is empty. Well, sod it, says I. Enough for a night into my bed I go. It's not like anyone needs access to the bleeding graveyard anyway. Harry, if you get this, I'll meet you in the Damps Dampson Temple for a jar. Alright. I have a feeling this truck isn't going to run on its own. Not without my assistance, at least. So I put that in there, but what do I do now? Obviously, I have to move it, because it's blocking my way. Oh, what was that? Oh, crank. Oh! Leave. Get out of here. Alright. Creepy graveyard. Perfect place to stop. Now, as always, guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for want to see some more content. I hope you guys are enjoying this series because I am loving it. And as always, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.